What is up YouTube? It is the Bill Outdoors here. Today is August 17th of 2023. I am here in New Jersey. We're going to be doing some saltwater fishing today. Right now I'm fishing a little bit of uh, tidal stuff, I guess you could call it. And there is one particular species we are going to be after at this particular spot. And that is going to be the Northern Senate. It's a relative of the Barracuda. They don't get as big as some of the great barracuda do down in Florida. They hardly get over a foot long, if that. Um, so right now I got tied on a little bit of a jerk bait. We're probably going to downsize and fish something a little bit heavier, like a little spoon or something like that. But there's a chance they're in the area. So I figured I would cast this around and see if I could get anything to show up. They're easier to target during the daytime than at night. Um, I tried at night for them before and it didn't work out so well. So maybe if we're lucky we can get one to show up. I'm going to give this a little while and then the plan is to head to the inlet which is about a 10 minute drive from here, if that. And then we'll try for some bigger stuff over there possibly some blue fish, flounder, if Spanish mackerel are in the area, we'll try for them. But no guarantees on anything. We're just gonna be casting around. Oh, I think I just had one followed in. Um, we're just gonna be casting around and see what comes up. And hopefully we can get some fish on the board today. All right, guys, I struck out on the Northern Senate. I didn't see any around tide is slack right now so it's just barely starting to come in maybe so maybe that's why there is no northern senate around but we're going to be casting around for some bigger stuff now it probably won't work out too well until the tide changes but we'll pay attention to see what other people are doing if other people are catching anything and we'll adjust our tactics based on that but i am testing out my new rod that i got for saltwater fishing it's a st croix in avid inshore 76 medium heavy rod i have the pen spin fisher 6 on there 17 pound monofilament and then i got a little one ounce metal on there and that's what i'm gonna be using in hopes of some bluefish and spanish mackerel but probably won't happen but we'll see maybe later oh well guys we just had a flounder on. It just flopped off. I cast out way out into the center of the inlet. I got a flounder on the gulp. So there is fish here. You just need to reach out and get them. That was like almost instant though. So hopefully there's more out there. I'm able to keep one on the hook this time. There's some people with fish on down there. I wonder what they got going on. There's a fight again. All right, guys, all my gulp has been destroyed. I'm using this little swim bait. I'm gonna cast it out there and see if I can get one of these flounder bites. But after that, I might try and get on some blue fish because this one guy has been getting a pretty consistent play, which means they're probably around. Dang it, that was a bite. That was definitely a bite. Here you go guys, we got a fish on finally. I'm trying to keep this guy pinned, that way we can get him up here. He's not fighting very hard yet. There he goes, he's spinning out a little bit now. No, he just popped off. Gosh dang it. That's annoying. 
So at least we know they're here and that we have a chance to reach them. Let's get back out there. Well guys, the fish are still here, it's just guy just got bit clean. Something with sharp teeth, probably a blue fish, just cut my line. And now I need to retie quickly and get back in there. Alright guys, honestly we're not doing too good. We lost the two fish. Had another one bite me clean off. And that's been pretty much it. I switched back to the jig. I hope we get a fish before the sun goes down before I go do my micro fishing, but things aren't looking promising. My back hurts. I think I might head back to the car and just wait for the sun to go down. Get some food. Well guys, it's not what I would consider a giant. That is a little baby bluefish. This is the smallest thing you'll ever see, but we got a fish today. Nice. Alright guys, a little bluefish is going to go back in the water here. He's good to go. I'm a little cast master. Alright guys, just got another fish here. This is a king croaker of some sort. This should be a southern king croaker from what I'm aware, but I could be wrong. So I'm going to take some shots of this guy and then I'm going to let him go. He does have a little bit of horizontal bar there, but I'm still thinking this should be a southern. Alright guys, last look at our little king croaker here. He wants to go back in the water. I believe this is a southern king croaker, which would be a species I already have. It's a species I caught a few weeks ago. But if that ends up being a northern, somehow, some way, that would be a new species for us and species 143. But like I said, I think it's that is just a uh, southern kingfish. But I'll put something in a Facebook group where people know more than me and we'll determine it from there. But I believe that it should be a southern king croaker. So. Two species on the day. One that may be new, but probably not. So let's see what else we can find. All right, guys. Well, that is it from micro spot number one. It is pretty much pitch black now, so I'm gonna head to micro spot number two and see how that fares. Last time I was there, I got my first ever seaboard goby the first species of goby I've ever caught on hook and line and there's also the chance for more tropicals to be there I think I saw a juvenile snapper the last time as well but I wasn't able to catch it I wasn't too concerned about catching either because I already have mangrove schoolmaster the ones that are more common to stray up this far so we're gonna head over to spot number two about 10 minutes away and we're gonna see what we can add to the board. Right now we only have two fish and two species to account for. A blue fish, that's the smallest blue fish I've ever seen, and a king croaker of some sort. I believe it to be southern but could end up being northern if we're lucky. So I'll meet you guys over at spot number two and we'll continue our micro fishing. Well guys I think the tide has played us once again is a lot higher than I anticipated it said it was going to be up like four feet which seemed like a lot but I didn't think it was that much but the walkway goes right into the water now usually you have to walk about 20 feet from the walkway to get to the water at this particular spot so even though it said it only rose four feet, I guess you really got to pay attention to the elevation of your 
particular spot. So I don't know how successful we we're going to be at this spot, but I did find a decent number of shrimp. So if we're unable to find anything cool here, I do have one third and final spot. Now I also don't know how that would be with the tide. And I also never been there before. This spot I've been to, this is going to be the third time now. But um, yeah, I really don't know how to play this with the tide because I'm supposed to be looking for seagrass that's going to hold fish, but you can't do that if there's no seagrass. It's all been pushed out by the tide. I think we're going to have to move up a little bit, but the fish aren't up. The fish are out there. Well, we got our third species of day here, a rather boring one. This is the mummy chog. I don't even feel like taking pictures of this guy. There he is. Just a teeny tiny guy. It's probably about all we'll get out of this hole. Doesn't look like there's much happening as far as tropicals go. That looks like a bit darker mummy chog there. Trying to see if I can see any gobies. Well, I had another species to the board there. I believe that is an American sulfur perch. I could be wrong, but I'm fairly certain that's what that is. We'll check that little guy out. I believe that is our first New Jersey pinfish. I could be wrong, but I saw this guy looking a little bit differently in the water. There he is. Definitely looks like a pinfish to me. Micro size. Alright guys, I just got word that our king croaker that we caught earlier today was in fact a northern king croaker. So that officially puts us at Species 143. Now we need to see if we can find anything else cool. There's a hermit crab down there. I'm trying to take my bait. And the other fish we caught that I thought was a pinfish, I want to say is a pigfish because it started grunting before it flopped out of my hand. And pinfish are part of the porgy family and do not grunt, typically. The shrimp for loading by. Not seeing any gobies or anything like that. I'm gonna give this a little bit more of a look over, see if I missed anything. I'm probably gonna drive to our third and final spot of the night before I get too tired. There we go guys, got ourselves another little pigfish there. This one you can see the bars more clearly. Definitely makes me think this is a pigfish and not a pinfish as I said earlier. But I think I caught just about all the interesting things I've seen in the area. So we're gonna let this guy go and then do one more scan around the shallows and get out of here and go to our last and final spot, which may or may not be accessible. I believe it's gonna be accessible, but we'll see. All right, guys, that is probably gonna do it for today. The third spot did not yield anything at all. I saw a few mummy chogs, but it's not what we're in the market for. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to end the video there. It's getting a little late, probably for the best. As you can tell, I'm getting a little bit tired. I apologize it wasn't the most exciting video. We lost the only two fish that would have made it somewhat exciting. We lost a summer flounder and a 
a decent sized bluefish over at the inlet and then we hit some backwater stuff I caught a little tiny tiny baby bluefish got myself a little baby northern king croaker which is species number 143 for me and then we got some mummy chog American silver perch and pigfish so decent little mix of species but nothing crazy hopefully we'll be able to get out a couple more times before I'm back to school I go back to school the 29th it is the 17th right now so I have 12 days before I'm back in torture camp for three months or so so Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next episode of The Bell Outdoors.